Hi there, this is Solitude Ronan from Solitude Ronan Films and welcome to another um, video. In the spirit of Practice What You Preach, I recently put up a video um, of some recommendations for the HMV Premium Collection who are running a 2 for £15 on Blu-ray titles here in the UK. So I thought I'll just show the films that I actually picked up in the 2 for 15. I did partake. Um, so we'll just go through them. Some of them I've seen before. Some of them are blind buys. But again, £7.50 for the premium collection is the right price, really. Again, very much like Kino Lorber. The extras can either be really good or pretty sparse. A lot of these titles are also available in the US in Warner Archive, which a lot of the time are actually multi-region. Um, so I'll just go through the titles that I picked up, because again, if I'm making recommendation videos, I might as well make a video of seeing what I actually bought. Um, so we'll start with 36 Hours with James Garner, Eve Marie Saint and Rod Taylor. Uh, this is from 1964. This is about an American soldier who wakes up in 1950 in a hospital um, and the doctors are trying to get him to recollect um, what happened in D-Day. But it might not actually be as it seems. I haven't seen that one before, um, but looking forward to seeing it. Um, and then we have Looker by Michael Crichton. Again, Chris Mohan recently talked about this film, um, so I'm blaming him if I don't like it. Again, I'll put a link um, to his watch list in which he talked about the film. Um, another written and directed early Michael Crichton with Albert Finney and James Coburn um, from 1981. Next is an upgrade for me, I've already got it just on DVD but it was one of the ones I was waiting for, the 2 for 15 um, and it's Robert Wise, the setup again Robert Wise who just made loads of different genres of films um, never going to be mentioned as an auteur, never going to be mentioned as a truly great filmmaker um, but he did make lots of interesting and watchable films in different genres. You know, it's a boxing film. Um, he made The Haunting, but he also did West Side Story. Um, so this is 1949 and it's got a really good Robert Ryan performance. Um, so I was happy to upgrade this to Blu-ray. And again, it's a film that I probably wouldn't have spent the £12.50 or the £14.99 on, but 2 for 15 that's ideal. Next is a film that I've obviously seen, but I've never had in my collection, The Treasure of Sarah Madra, because I do have a thing with John Huston. I do think he's a good filmmaker, but not a great filmmaker. Uh, for me, it's just my personal opinion, but for me he's right up there with Hitchcock as the most overrated directors. But again, this is just my opinion. Um, so that's one of the reasons I've never had the Treasure Sedra Madra um, in my collection. But again, it's a good film. Um, they're very good, but I'll give it another go on the big screen. Um, obviously this has got an essential Humphrey Bogart performance. And this is from 1948. Um, then we have Possessed by Joan Crawford and Van Heflin. Again, this is another one. This is 1947. This is another one that I was waiting for the 2 for 15 um, to pick up. 
because you can never have um, as much Joan Crawford. Um, I should have said as far as um, the extras in these discs. Um, 36 Hours just has a piece on James Garner's war films. Um, Looker does have a commentary um, by Michael, Cri Michael Crichton and a deleted scene. Um, the setup has a commentary with Robert Wise and Scorsese. And the Treasure of Sierra Madra has got a commentary um, by Bogart, biographer Eric Lax, and it's got several featurettes on the Treasure of Sierra, Mad Sierra Madre, because that's quite a famous film. Um, and Possessed has a commentary by film historian Drew um, Casper and a featurette. Um, then we have Sidney Lumet's Running on Empty, a film that I remember from 1988 and I believe I have seen, but it's been a while. Um, River Phoenix um, and Judd Hirsch and Christine Latty. So it's one of those films that I have a memory of, but how much of a memory of, I don't know, as a family who are on the run from the FBI. We've all been there. Um, Next is a couple of Michael Curtis films, in actual fact. Um, the Sea Wolf. I mean, Edward G. Robinson, Ida Lupino and John Garfield. Um, this is from 1941. Again, for £7.50. How can you turn them down? Um, again, this one just has um, a trailer and a radio broadcast. So again, you can kind of see... Um, the kind of different extras the various quantity and quality that you get from the premium collection um, but I don't know whether this might have been an influence on the lighthouse to some extent um, but Robinson, Lupino and Garfield you're not going to sneeze at that and another Michael Curtis um, Mystery of the Wax Museum the Fairy from 1933 Again, this was another one that I was waiting for the 2 for 15 um, to pick up. Really looking forward to having a look at this one. Um, this has got a documentary, Remembering Fay Ray, a commentary by Alan K. Road, and also a commentary by Scott McQueen, who's the Head of Preservation at UCLA. So, again, looking forward to checking that one out. Um, next is Chinatown. Again, I ha haven't had Chinatown in the collection. Again, for me, it's a good film, very good film, but not quite one of the greatest films of all time. But again, that's just my opinion. My opinion is not fact. But I'll obviously give it another go on the big screen, um, and that might change my mind. Again, I've never said Chinatown's a bad film, because it's obviously not a bad film. Um, but for me, it's just not a truly great film. But again, I'll give it another go actually seeing it on Blu-ray and on the big screen. Um, I don't know, maybe because it's got John Huston in it, but um, certainly give it another go. Um, the List of Adrian Messenger, which is another one that I really wanted to pick up. George C. Scott, obviously I'm not a George C. Scott fan, you know, I've got a bunch of his films. Dana Winter, um, Clive Brooke, but you've got Tony Curtis, Kurt Douglas, Burt Lancaster, Robert Mitchum, Frank Sinatra. Um, an all-star cast. Again, um, this one is directed by John Huston. So we'll see exactly um, how good it is. I might be disappointed because it's John Huston. Um, but we'll see. Again, just to reiterate, I do think John Huston's a good filmmaker. I just don't think he's a great filmmaker. But again, that's my opinion. And my opinion is not a fact. I might even got a t-shirt with that written on it. Um, and finally, Don't Be Afraid of the Dark. Now this is a 
legendary TV movie um, from 1973, which was shown on American television and apparently scared the pants off of a whole generation. Um, I didn't actually realise it was remade in 2010 um, with Christian Bale. Was it Christian Bale? I can't actually remember now. Sorry, Guy Pierce. Guy Pierce and Christian Bale, they're practically the same person. Um, and Katie Holmes. So I haven't seen the original, I certainly haven't seen the remake because I didn't even realise it was a remake. Um, but I had to pick this up, it's only an hour and a quarter because it was made for TV. Um, but apparently it is rather creepy. Um, this one has a commentary. It's actually got two commentaries um, of various people not really connected to the film. Um, so I'm really, um, really interested to see what Don't Be Afraid of the Dark is like, whether it lives up to its um, legendary status. And again, when I saw it add a Blu-ray release, um, I kind of wanted to pick that up, especially for two for fifteen pounds. So that's my practice what you preach video for the premium collection. Please let me know if you have um, picked up some premium titles in this sale and hopefully you'll join me again for more videos where I'll try and spend less money. So this is Solitary Ronan from Solitary Ronan Films saying farewell.